Hi, today I would like to give you the latest situation, the latest status update for the Kagawa Tem Yuki, one of the most successful, popular, middle aged actor here in Japan, age 57 years old. He has been accused by a woman uh, saying uh, she had been. Uh, received harassment by him and uh, this story has been buzzing recently here in Japan because uh, like I posted I like or like I as I explained in another video he is the most successful the most popular actor here in Japan so first of all sorry for my poor English I hope you can understand what I am going to talk about. On this channel, Ask Japan, I would like to give you the latest news from Japan and interesting stories from Japan. So please subscribe my channel and also please feel free to write any comments, questions, uh, requests regarding Japan or would you like to know about Japan. All you have to do is just write your comment in the comment box of my video. I would like to answer some of your questions into my upcoming YouTube videos. So this video has been my third time, three three times. I, I posted uh, other similar videos related to this story. And uh, this is the, my third video. So, and then this is the latest update for the Kagawa Teruyuki. I'm, I'm not going to talk about who he is. Uh, if, if you want to know, who he is, Kagawa Teruyuki. Please check my previous previous two videos explaining who he is. But anyway, in short, uh, he is the most successful, most popular middle-aged actor here in Japan. And uh, like uh, as I mentioned, uh, three or four days ago, a gossip magazine uh, had breaking surprising news against him according to the article in 2019 a woman working at bar received uh, harassment from him and uh, she has been suffering PTSD post-traumatic syndrome since then and uh, she confessed you know his violence in the magazine so and then three days ago the suddenly the news came nowhere from nowhere and uh we just found that you know uh in the in the digital internet the news and then at like three days ago like i like like i explained in another video we thought that it must be the kind of fake news and it must be some conspiracy. However, one, one day later, uh, the, the day of revelation, revelation of the incident, he posted his blog, he, he, his uh, social inter uh, SNS saying it was true and uh, I have to admit and uh, I, I have to apologize her. And then today in the the, the news news pro, morning news program uh, he made he has just made official apology in front of the TV camera in front of the television so he has been responsible for uh, the presenter as anchor in the one of the popular uh, news entertainment. TV program in the morning, Japan. So every day, which is named The Time, The Time is on air uh, during uh, from 6 o'clock a.m. and 5 o'clock a.m. until 8 o'clock a.m. So, and the national TV television, TV station has been on airing having this TV pro news, news and entertainment TV program. And, uh, he, I think he has been uh, responsible as the presenter. So, and then uh, at this occasion, at that occasion, uh, at the beginning of the TV program, 
uh, he just made apology. He actually he wore the black tie and the black suit, and uh, you know his face was sincere. You know, unlike he always had, you know, very funny face, made, made making joke uh, on especially Friday morning. However, this Friday morning, uh, he wore black tie, black shoes, and uh, his face is like you know, very sincere, and he made apology. He said that, you know, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, I have to apologize to a woman uh, who, who has been, who had, who had, a, who had a difficult time to recover the disease and then um, it was true that the, the gossip the story that the gossip magazine had was true i'm i'm really really, really sorry i have to approach. and I, I will i will do my best uh for everyone to support me and uh Again, I have to apologize to a woman. So that's the official apology, like 30 seconds. So in a, uh, the beginning, like he bowed his head, made uh, official ap apology. And uh, the reaction was actually even from what I have just read through Yahoo Japan user uh, who are talking about this story. And then, uh, right after his apology, the NHK, the public TV station, you know, there's only one public TV station in, here in Japan, which is NHK. NHK has announced that, that the NHK is not going to dismiss him. So he, uh, he has been the main presenter at the one of the educational TV program in the NHK, which is really, really popular among young kids and children. And then um, NHK just announced that they are not going to dismiss him. So they are going to continue him, to use, continue to use him. Okay, the, however, I, I don't know, because you know, the apology, just made today and then maybe from now on uh, we are going to have some maybe negative feedbacks or reactions comments maybe to the NHK and other TV programmers that is going to TV programmers or that are going to keep using him so even though even though the incident was incident happened on like 2000 in 2019 it was like just three three years ago and according to him uh it was settled that you know uh there there, is, there was no uh legal action any legal action and any you know um court fight any lawsuit okay i'm going to read i would like to read some comments from yahoo japan user uh, discussing this issue it's okay because it was settled even though what he was what he did was not good but it was a very old story but why this time we are not sure why this time okay the next one said actually this is not this this is not for this is not the first time for him to have some troubles involving you know his families and his friends and the people who surrounded him because we actually we we are looking at it. we 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 have been we have been thinking him as not the 
God as not a you know, good human people. You know, we 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 have been admitted. We have admitted that you know his personality, including this, you know, maybe he might be involved be involved in some trouble. It's okay. It's understandable. Okay. The next one said. It's really difficult. It's really difficult. Even though it was settled and it was like three years ago, that what he did was not appropriate, of course. And you know? it's not good for him, because you know he his popularity. Thinking about the popularity, his popularity was you know huge, and you know? uh, so maybe. There, there may be, there will be some negative impacts, impact on him in his future career. And, uh, okay, the next one said, we are not sure if he is going to lose his position, the top position or his career as the one of the most successful actor and uh, we are not sure if we will forget soon because he just it, and it's good thing it's good thing for him to make apology within just a two or two within three days because you know one days later uh, after after the the gossip magazine will be revealed this incident he made apology on social net SNS, and the two days two days later today, he he appeared uh, in front of TV camera, in front of you know TV uh, television, in front of to everybody, and he made uh, apology. This is a good thing, so we have to admit. So okay, that's all for today. Uh, anyway, he admitted that. He has just admitted that he, what he did, and uh, he he made official apology, and um, we are not sure if how much the impact is going to be. It is going to be big or just small or nothing. Uh, we are not sure, and then um, may like some like some of us have pointed out. It was like 2019, three years ago, and why this is why why now? This is a question number one, and then um, according to the according to the latest uh the statement, the there there's there was no lawsuit, and even though uh it is true, it it seems to it seems to be true that she a woman, uh has been suffering from uh, PTSD, fighting from the PTSD. And uh, so we are not sure well, how much, how much this impact is, it is going to become. So anyway, that's all for today. Sorry for my poor English. I hope you could understand what I have just presented to you. Like this video, my channel, Ask Japan. I would like to give you the latest news from Japan, the interesting stories from Japan. So please subscribe my channel and also please feel free to write any comments, questions, requests regarding Japan, what would you like to know about Japan. All you have to do is just write your comments in the comment box of my videos. Thank you.